Mark Sears declares for the NBA draft, but does that mean he's done at Alabama? For sure. We're going to talk about it. Clifford Amari is visiting the Tide for Hoops. We talked about Aiden Holloway from Auburn, but the big Rutgers forward center may join the Crimson Tide. We'll find out. And does Alabama need some help on the defensive line? Because there's one big target out of Texas that Alabama might have their sights set on. We're going to get into that right here on the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Man, that's a way of saying Roll Tide. And here's your invitation to the best Bama party on YouTube. Roll Tide, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. There he is. You know him. Big, sexy Elmo. Mr. Brett Elmore, the morning host of WJLX Radio in Jasper and also uh, from WJLX Sports and also from our channel. Bits How Bl- are you, Mick? I'm good, man. Blitz, Bama, Blitz. Blitz, Bama, Blitz. Hope everything is well in your neighborhood. I saw where Fairhope, Alabama where you're from is like one of the top cities in the world for romantics. Oh yeah. That's why, like, that's why I moved there. You know, that and the, you know, Winston groom who, who wrote Forrest Gump uh, wrote that in Fairhope, right? His, his handprints are uh, right next to a page and palette down there, which is, which is my kind of library. It's a, it's a bookstore with a bar built in it. That, that is my kind of library too. (laughs) And, uh, I was hoping to get on that Hulu series, Love and Fair Hope, but I just didn't make the cut. Yeah, yeah. Well, next time, maybe season two. I, yeah. I would love to be like your wingman on there, you yeah, know? There you go. Yeah. You come in and invade uh, L.A. Yeah. Well, let's let's talk some let's talk some stuff here. Uh, let's get into this. Mark Sears declares for the NBA draft. This basketball program is being gutted. Will we see Mark Sears in an Alabama uniform again? Um, I believe so. Uh, I, 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 you know, I think he's treading the water a little bit to try to see, um, you know, what his stock may be in the, uh, NBA draft, uh, uh, in the post tournament, uh, in the mock draft, uh, he wasn't even in the top 60. Right. Uh, so I, you know, I think he's putting, and, and it's a smart thing to do. Yeah, uh, probably put his you know toes in the water a little bit, t- kind of see, but keep that door open. It would be very nice for him to stay another year, build his stock a little bit more. I mean, the guy is a player, obviously twenty one and a half points a game for his four rebounds, but um, uh, you know it would be nice, I guess, for us fans for him to stay another year and come back and improve his stock, but. If you're not in the top 60, uh, I, you know, I, I don't I, I don't think I would touch it. Well, between NIL money, you know, and his status as maybe the greatest Alabama player. I mean, at least for a single season, he'd be a fool to go and play in one of those G leagues. And what's good is that he entered the draft, but he can always if he doesn't get drafted or he can always come back to Alabama, you know, and I guess things have changed now because. All of these guys have agents, but the way I understand it is that he has the option of coming back to Alabama. Yeah, due to uh, NCAA rules, he can uh, partially go through the draft process, partially, mm-hmm. uh, get get a little feedback on his stock, uh, and then he has until um, uh, uh, the end of May, May 29th, to kind of say, Hey, I'm in or I'm staying right. in school. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. I got a feeling he's coming back and he's coming back <laughs> with fanfare. He's coming back to try to win a national championship and Alabama's going to try to put some pieces around him to help him win. And here's one of those guys that could be that's going to visit Tuscaloosa, Clifford Amari, 
of Rutgers uh, transfer from there. Big man, you know, you 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 want Sam Walter, uh, excuse me, you want uh, Grant Nelson to come back. Obviously, Sam Walters is leaving, but you give him a little protection. Maybe instead of him having to play the five, he can play the four, swing out and play the three. You got to add some some height. That was an issue that Alabama had. Get a little bit better on defense. And um, this guy, Amari, may be just the piece that Alabama is looking for. Yeah, he's that big body in the paint that I think we need and somebody we need to add because we just didn't have the height. You know, when we were going up against those monsters in the uh, in the tournament, it was very obvious that uh, we needed more size underneath, uh, you know, and some, and some players down there that could rattle the rim. And he's a guy that can do it now. Uh, he's 6'11", 240 pounds. Uh, he was born in Nigeria. Um, he's had a great career at Rutgers. Uh, looking at his stats, I mean, this past year, averaged 10 points a game, eight rebounds, 51% from the floor, which is nice. Uh, and he has done that the past three seasons, really. He's uh, averaged double figures and about nine rebounds a game. So uh, the, guy, the guy's a hooper, and he would be a nice addition underneath because we need somebody like that, that big body, underneath and and he he fits that he checks all the the boxes there at 611 240 nice well we'll see what happens but uh you know we we talked about this i think yesterday that aiden holloway from auburn's coming now if i was auburn i would not want my guys transferring to alabama and i think vice versa you know you want to have a little bit of school pride and (laughs) but that world doesn't exist anymore so um you know it's 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 basically the wild west and if if holloway comes i'm all for him you know i mean it's just hey if you can help us win that that'd be great but the days of a guy coming and actually like putting in four years at a university <laughs> like i don't know if that exists anymore and i mean look at this list man nick pringle we talked about that he hit the transfer portal yesterday Guy was constantly like in trouble. I, I I couldn't follow team rules. You know, there. I, from what I understand, I don't think there was anybody really trying to pull him to stay back. They, this wasn't a surprise. We would have loved to have had Sam Walter come back. Yeah. Uh, Chris Parker. You know, Rylan Griffin. Everybody wanted him to stay, and and he's probably going to get paid a you know a suitcase full of money to go to Kansas, from what we hear. And then Devin Cosby, you know, the guy came off the bench last year at the end of the season and really shined. Would have been nice to have these guys all come back, even Pringle. But of the group, he's the one that doesn't surprise me that he's leaving. The shame is that I think he played his best games uh, in the tournament. And I thought maybe he was going to turn the corner, but, you know, he's off the transfer, you know, for what, the third time or something, fourth time. So whatever it is, good luck to them all. But Alabama's going to have to build a whole new program uh, in one year, but that's what Nate Oates has been able to do. It seems like this happens every year for every team. And I've heard other schools are dealing with the same exact thing. It's not just Alabama. No, no, no this is, uh, this is the new way of doing things. It seems like, uh, and yeah, Ron and Griffin was kind of that first domino where you was like, Oh man, we're losing Griffin. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, uh, but, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it, that's the new world we live in. And, and Nate Oates is pretty good at that. Um, Good coach, and 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 he's pretty good at putting together a roster, and, and he'll do that, you know, and he's already working on that. Uh, well, Alabama football is quiet so far in the portal. Uh, you know, one kicker transferred out. Uh, okay, whatever, right? Um, but that's it so far. And, and we got Caden Proctor back, which is great, but it's been quiet. Although I, I think that you, you, you know, it's a 15 day window. I think you sit back and you see what's going on. Um, and, you know, Colorado's had a bunch of guys transfer out of their program. You know, maybe Alabama's interested in, in a couple of those guys. But this was one that turned my head. Dominique Williams, a d- defensive lineman from TCU. He's a guy that gets after the quarterback. He could be a very disruptive force. You know, do you think Alabama has any interest in going after a defensive lineman? I know they talked about cornerback and uh, an offensive line, but what about defensive line? Sure. Uh, 6'2", 300-pound sophomore, started at 15 games in his freshman season. Um, in his first season, he had 27 tackles. Now, um, 
you know, last year he started every game for TCU. Um, and he had 33 tackles, five for a loss, three sacks. Mm-hmm. Honorable mention, uh, all Big 12 last year as well. And honorable mention, uh, all Big 12 defensive lineman of the year. So you're right. He's disruptive there uh, in the middle of the line. Um, and he's got a couple of years of eligibility left. Um, so he's going to be a guy that's uh, going to be a prospect that a lot of folks are going to be looking at. And I think he goes to uh, Oklahoma. Is that right? This weekend. Um, and uh, to for a visit, but um, uh, to watch the spring game, I believe. Yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, all of these transfers, they've got to they've got to put their paperwork in, put their name in a database. They got to get all this stuff done, uh, and they have until the end of the month to do that, April thirtieth. Um, and you know, coaches really aren't allowed to to contact these players until they've got all that stuff done. Um, of course, most of them that hit the portal, they they file that paperwork immediately. But that kind of gives you a window. Of uh, you know, end of the month, uh, we're already on April 18th here, so uh, that'll be uh, uh, close it up pretty soon. But you're right, it's been pretty quiet uh, in Tuscaloosa, and it surprises me a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll get a little action today because it, uh, I was hoping for a little, you know, little action, something to talk about, some big splash news, something, but it's been quiet. Yeah, no, it has been quiet. And and I mean, everybody's just sitting around like going, okay, you know, um, when, when's this going to happen? When are we, when are we going here? You know, like when is this, this transfer portal going to just crack wide open and, and we start to make some mo- some noise, you know, the, 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 there's a ton of guys in the transfer portal, but you just wonder like, who are the players that Alabama feels like would make an impact on the roster and, you know, maybe Williams ends up going to Oklahoma, but I, I'm looking at this going, hey, th- who knows what the situation is with NIL, how much money you had, how much it ta- take, you know, takes to keep the guys that you already have. But at the same time, it would be so nice to try to get a little bit more pressure on the quarterback. You know, I wasn't super impressed with the defense that I saw on, at the 8A game, Mike Johnson kind of reassured me that a lot of it's just scheme oriented and, yeah. you know, and, and so I don't know football like he does, like he was a two time all American. Um, and I, and, and, but I mean, he, he's, you know, he also played in the NFL. So he sees right. it differently yeah. than me. I saw guys, I saw gashing holes, <laughs> like guys running everywhere. Yeah. 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 You know, to uh, the average fan like you and I, um, we saw gaping holes that uh, an 18, 18- Wheeler could could drive through, but <laughs> but but yeah, leave it. Uh, we have to leave it to the uh, the the former players who who know the X's and O's a little bit better than we do. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, and and you know, pressuring the quarterback. Uh, this is a guy that can do that and uh, be very disruptive on the line. So yeah, maybe somebody that Alabama looks at and goes after. But uh, you're right. And what we'll probably see, Mick, uh, uh, we're probably going to see like a flurry. Uh, at at once of of schools making the moves, oh, and yeah. it's and it's almost like uh, they're all kind of waiting a little bit. Uh, it may be early in the week next week or something, but it, someone's going to have to pull that trigger first and send that warning shot. You know? Yeah, right. And, and then it'll be like off to the races. Yeah, and yeah. So. Yeah, it's not like they're sitting around going, ah, we don't want anybody. They're obviously working really hard to figure out who fits best and and who they could bring in. And and I'm I'm looking for some stuff to start kicking off here. Uh, yeah. you know, soon, you know, maybe yeah. even uh maybe even today. So yeah. well, Brett, always great to see you, brother. Uh tell everybody about your amazing show uh that you host every morning. Fred on my radio program. It is uh, weekday <laughs> morning, six till ten. WJLX one hundred one five FM. WJLX one hundred one five dot com. Available on all the major apps. Tune in, have some fun with us. We have a good time, and um, look forward to uh, seeing you there. Yeah. Does it, do you still have a, a pair of tickets to give away for NASCAR on Sunday, Talladega? Mm, yeah, we got NASCAR tickets for giveaway. Okay, uh, well, uh, let's give them. Can we give them away right now? Sure. I don't, I don't let's care. give. Let's give away two tickets to Talladega. 
But you got to you got to you got to message Brett Elmore that you saw him right here and you want to go on Sunday. Yeah, I, I, those I, cars I, go I, fast, Brett. They, zoom, 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 zoom. And, and this, <laughs> this is this is uh, these are great seats, by the way. These are like big Elmo seats. These are at the Tri Oval Tower. Uh, you know, you're you're high up, so you can see the track. You're at you get you got turn one and four clear view. You're right there, uh, right in the middle of pit row, man. You're talking about big Elmo seats. All right, take Bill, get big Elmo seats. You got to message him. Uh, you got to find him and message him. That's the that's the mission. And uh, you you get to go to Talladega. And then look, Eric Church wrote a song about Talladega. That's how important that race is. Okay, guys. And there was a movie called Talladega Nights. That's right. That's right. Uh, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> hey, the show's also brought to you by New Life Art. They're a great partner of ours. Uh, NewLifeArt.com. Daniel Moore, best in the business. Uh, Bama Tailgate. Use that code fifteen percent off when you buy your next uh, purchase. Right when you do your next purchase. You can do it at uh, Bama Tailgate on there, fifteen percent off, and uh, we appreciate that. And uh, can't wait to hang out with you guys again. And and we haven't seen Catfish in a while, but we're gonna we're gonna just keep talking about him, and maybe he'll materialize on the channel. But uh, helped over ten thousand families get into homes. He's an investment consultant, an Airbnb expert, and a huge Alabama fan. Use that QR code ChadwickAnderson.com. All right, for. Big Elmo, I'm Mick Gillespie. Thanks, guys. And Roll Tide, something breaks, you'll see us back here. Roll Tide.